Hi everyone and wel welcome back to this uh, other uh, uh, episode. This is uh, going to be kind of an extension of the previous episode. We call it uh, 3A um, uh, because it's uh, an extension of the uh, Docker installation. So a um, couple of days ago, um, a member of the community, one of my followers that is following the same tutorial said that uh, during, the, um, uh, during the steps of the next episode the number four, um, there was a po warning uh, reported by uh, Docker during the build of the Docker image of the Cardano node. Um, and basically, uh, beside, despite this being only um, a warning, um, it, it, I think it's worth to fix it. Uh, basically, the warning uh, says that uh, during the build, um, C group information about memory and CPU were not available uh, at build time. And um, this is because by default, the Ubuntu distribution that we've installed in our Raspberry Pi uh, does not have C groups enabled. So this means that uh, uh, containers running in Docker will not have access to this kind of information. Um, it means that the uh, processes running within these containers, they will not have an idea of how much memory and CPU have been allocated to them. This is usually um, useful because it tells, uh, instructs the, proce the, the process running within which are their limits so that they can act accordingly. Um, to fix this is actually extremely easy, um, so um, I think we can just jump right in. So this is the documentation, um, this is the normal step of uh, the uh, episode number three, this is sudo snap install docker, this is everything as we've seen just like a minute um, uh, ago. Um, there is uh, a warning here, sorry, there is a comment here, and then there is a new paragraph that is called enable, enabling C group. In this para paragraph, basically what we're going to do is editing a configuration file called uh, cmd line txt, where we're gonna add two flags that are gonna instruct um, the kernel to enable this feature on the next restart. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right in and we'll do it. Uh, this is my, um, this is my uh, console on the Raspberry Pi. So we uh, sudo vi into the command line in order the, what we have to do here is to append this content here, C group enable memory in C group memory one at the end of the line and not as a new line. So in order to do this, we press ask shift four. So basically dollar, and this is gonna take us at the end of the line. Then we uh, press I for interactive mode, insert a space, and then we paste the content. And that's basically it. We hit ask again, semicolon WQ1 to save and quit the changes. And then to complete uh, um, the, uh, to make effective those changes, all that we have to do is basically restart um, the, the Raspberry Pi. All that we have to do is issue sudo reboot now. So we go back into our um, console, we just hit sudo reboot, now we press enter, I'm not going to do this uh, because my Pi is currently running, but uh, once you do this, we will be disconnected from the, um, uh, the terminal, but it's all fine because the Pi is rebooted, so it's just enough to SSH into it again. And that's all for uh, this very brief uh, tutorial, thank you very much for following. As usual, if you like the content of this video, please uh, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, uh, and if you want to support me and uh, um, and my channel, uh, please consider delegating your ADA to my stake pool. Uh, the stake pool is um, the easy staking pool and the ticker is easy one. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.